Hello, people. This is PVT 3307 3301 with a tutorial video requested by someone on the Steam community for Omnissi 2. Um, so, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a route in Omnissi 2 with the station links. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to open up Omnissi 2 Editor and we're going to get started. And just for this tutorial purpose, I've already created a map, so that process will not be interfering with with this tutorial at all and will be like super long or anything so once it loads we can start hello there we go it's so gonna open up a new map I mean if you can see that I'm not sure but yeah the point is I'm opening up a new map and so this is the map I've created for the tutorial purpose. Um, I call it Richmond. But yeah. So this is the Richmond bus station where the re um where the origin of the route is gonna start. So now we've got some bus stops here. So what you're gonna do is go to the station links tab and click the new button. That's gonna say invalid and then like an equal sign and then an arrow pointing right to another box that says invalid and the next step that's going to say INV be in a parentheses what you're going to do is go down there should be two boxes that set that say set no three boxes that say set start station set end station and add path segments what you're going to want to do is click set start station and then click your first bus stop which is Richmond bus station as you see and then what you're going to do is click on the path segment that the bus stop cube is on, and then you're going to keep, you're going to click on the um, the path segments to your first bus stop, which in this case is this way, and you'll have to do this for every bus stop, but in the end, it gets a bit easier. So it's going to go around this roundabout, and then the first bus stop is Calvin Court. And then you're going to click the bus stop, the Calvin Court bus stop cube again, and then you're going to do the same process over and over as I just mentioned. And then go to the next stop, which is the John Street Terminus, this little thing here. So now, oh, let's change that to Terminus. Terminus. And it's rather important that you do almost exactly what I'm doing because then it'll help you create a route in the end when you have this now create a station link between the John between your next set of bus stop cubes and over and over but that's not what I want you to do, to follow exactly and then you're gonna do it all the way back to Richmond bus station remember the origin of the route um, okay so we're going left So, you have it circle back over to Calvin Court. So then if anyone wants to go back to Richmond bus station, they can hop on a bus to go there. Unless we have like a short turn or something. Uh, oh yeah. This intersection is a bit weird because there's like a a path hidden in there. You have to look, otherwise you might screw this up. Um. All right, does it loop around? Yeah, but we're not gonna go that way. All right, so yeah, you're gonna have it loop around in. 
Oh. We'll create another terminus for our Richmond bus station. Uh, let's just turn it to the appropriate direction. The bus stop, the bus stop queue should be um, facing the same way that the traffic is going as well. So if it's going this way, or like it shouldn't be facing that way if the traffic's going this way, the opposite way. So let's just name that John. No, 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 no not John Street. Richmond bus. Terminus. And let's change that to zero because this is terminus. Let's just put that to a random number like 1000. So it knows that to get rid of a lot of passengers. Let's just get rid of these two. Let's bring one of these bus stop poles over here. And. Let's just, let's see if this will fit. I've used this object before and it doesn't exactly fit three lines. Uh, I don't have to do. So there, now you got all your station links. Almost, let's just create one more to where we'll have our route start. So now that you've got all your station links, what you'll do now is go to the Tracks and Trips tab and then press the Create New Trip, the Type 2. And what we're going to name this is, hmm, let's name it 46. Oops. John. No. What the? Oh my goodness. John Street. And the number of the route is just going to be 46. So press enter. It'll put John Street in there, like that. And now what you'll do is you'll, you'll click the Add from List button. And then it'll give you a list of all the bus stops on the map. So what you're going to do is you're going to click um, the Richmond Bus Station Terminus, and you'll see why soon enough. So click the Richmond Bus Station Terminus, then Richmond Bus Station. Then you'll click the Calvin Court bus stop, and then John, and then no, then John Street Terminus. And then what you want to do now is click the Edit Profiles button. You can create a new profile for this exercise, which is called it Standard. And click the Always tab. Um, the terminus for the John Street terminus or the last bus stop, I would click the wait on departure time. And we'll just say that this will be nine minutes. And so let's create another type two trip going back to Richmond bus station. We'll just call RBC for now. And then we'll type Richmond BC in that box and then line 40, nope, 46, not 47. And then what you'll do from add from list is you're going to click the John Street Terminus, then John Street, then Calvin Court, then Richmond, Richmond Bus Station Terminus. <laughs> And let's just say this one takes nine minutes or two. It's not going that far. Remember that you should have them on as always and then wait on departure time for the terminus or the end bus stop. And so now you've created your route. But what now? So now what you're gonna wanna do is go to the edit timetable tab. Click the create button under line and then enter your line number. 
in this case 46 so then you go to the line button there will be a, an arrow down a down arrow blah, blah, blah. click the 46 button and if you want to drive it click the users allow to create this line box we'll check it even and then you'll reach something that says priority which basically says to Omsi, oh this route is more important than another so for now we'll just keep this at one now what you'll want to do is you want to click buses as the AI group so that Omsi knows which group to use whenever it runs this line. Okay, we'll fix that. I guess we're supposed to create a tour first. We'll just name this 01. Okay, now you click the AI group tab and then you click buses. We'll have this run all the time so you don't have to worry about this. And then what you'll do is you'll just click the new button and we'll have this start at 8 o'clock. And then, go to 8.15. Let's just zoom in so you can see that correctly. Now, what you'll see is a, are the two times that it leaves, 8 o'clock and 8.15. Now, what's most important is that it always starts at the same cube that you ended the last trip at. So, in this case, that since it's, blah. So since it ended at John Street Terminus, the trip back to Richmond Bus Center must start at John Street Terminus or else it won't work. And I'll show you what happens with um, another trip. But we'll just go back to the edit timetable. Let's just have that run for an hour. And then a useful tip Actually, let's get rid of that one. A useful tip is below all this junk where it says trip, time profile, etc. It'll say last two entries one time. It will mean that the last two timetable entries, which in this case would be 8.45 and 8.30. Oh, must have been too far away. Yeah, in this case, 8.45 and 8.30. And then, so what we'll do is because it'll count this trip too, since it's highlighted. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four trips. So I'm gonna change that to four. And then that should stay one time. And then voila, you have the bus running for another hour. And let's just have it to run till one o'clock in the afternoon or 1300 hours. And so now you have your first line. And so you repeat this process and um, for every line that cr you create. Now to why you should always start with the terminus. One thing that you should always notice is that every time that this black space appears right here, that you see, it'll always show the smooth trans um, and blue text stuff, which means that there's a smooth transition between bus stops or trips. If that's not there, then the bus will drive to the end of the spleen that it's on, or I'll show you what a spleen is. It's like this, it's a roadway. It'll say the bus stop ended here. It'll drive across this intersection and to the end of the spleen and disappear. And you'll have to fast forward a few minutes in order to see it again. So you always have to start with the terminus cube whenever starting a new route. Or Wherever the but or wherever the trip ended up last, and so, um, that'll be it for that. Oh, one more thing. If you want passengers to be picked up, you should always put a um a, pa a people box thing like that. Let's just copy that so that it looks straight. So now that we have that, let's just make another one. There. Now go to the map tab and click save. Alright, we can now you're gonna close that, that out and 
because I had it on the editor tab. I'm going to change it. Oh, and by the way, if you ever want to run the editor, you're going to run it in all lowercase, like just like that. But since we want to go back since we're in the game, we're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to go into OMC2. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 we can't do that. I forgot. It's one thing. So when OMC comes back up, we, um, wait, what am I doing? Right, so we're going to go to my SDK folder, and I have a program that helps me create depot files. All right, let's close that. Okay, um, hurry up. One minute. Let's close OMC. And let's open a program I like to use called Hoff Creator, which helps you create Hoffs or depot files, which control what the bus says. Let's just create a new one. You, there'll be a default one called the SD200 slash SD202 template, which you should use because it's just there. So, we're going to name this depot file Richmond. And let's just create a new terminus. Call it out of service. Because in all honesty, all buses say out of service at some point. Service. Out of service. Next bus, please. Darn it, please. And that stuff, I can talk about another time. Whoops. Oh, let's get rid of that. There. Let's just change that to a one. And we'll make an empty zero. Now, what was, all right, so the two termini that I chose were John Street, let's just make that 10, and Rich, if I'm not mistaken, Richmond, BC, we'll make that 11. And then what we're gonna do is press the input assist as I did earlier. And then just put in some, whatever you want the bus stop to be named whenever it's shown in OMC. So in this case, it'll be John Street, no space. John Street, with no six at the end. So we'll just have it display that in OMC. And then we'll have it just display John Street on, on the Ibis 2. Found in any vehicle except for um well the ibis one is displayed in vehicles like from the sd200 to the d80 no like the um some double decker bus i forget the name um so yeah so you'll have those and then what you're gonna do is you wanna create a root. Oops. And then you'll have it display one display John Street. And then another display Richmond BC. And then you're just gonna create some bus stops. Um let's have one be Richmond BC. And then now just be the bus stop. And this, um, right, oops, Richmond bus station, station, RBC, and to keep it simple, we'll just have the other one be John Street. Darn it! John 
treat John Street. There. And then, to prevent any errors from coming up, you're going to want to put in Richmond, BC, and John Street. And then you do the opposite. One minute. Dinner. And now we're back. So we'll just save that and. The AI I chose for this map, which will be the man NLNG, and we'll name it Rich Man. Um, yeah. And just to be sure that all names are correct and stuff, I'm gonna make sure that we'll go back into the editor. Oh. You want to change this to out of service. Well, what I would do anyway. You don't have to, but I will. So yeah, you're gonna wait for Omsi2 editor open up and make sure that all destination names are, are correct and stuff. So you're gonna allow your map, allow your map to up open flow then go to tracks and trips see I spelled it wrong um, and then which one BC is make sure it's referenced right uh, more or less but doesn't hurt to be safe First, be sorry. Now we're gonna go into OMSI and we're gonna test out the route. And you're gonna set it to the time where we said it wanted to run, which is between, I believe, 8 o'clock and 1300. Um. Oh, one thing I would recommend is whenever you start a new map, I would copy the AI list from Grundorf because it's just a simple OMSI2 um, format AI list and then paste it into new map because if not, then you'll be getting really weird lag spikes. Well, whenever I did that, I always got weird lag spikes and it's always easier to do with, deal with an OMSI2 format AI list than obviously one. And so what you're going to do is if you load the latest state of map button, then your map won't appear. But if you do load map without buses, then your map should appear. And I just call it tutorial map. And to explain the various features of the editor like this. So let's just set it to the current time, but set it back a few hours. Um, let's make sure. All right, yeah, that should be fine. Let's just change it to August 11th, because what I've seen is that there's a solar eclipse in that day, and I like to see that. So now we have that, and one of the new features of OMSI 2.2.017 is that you get to you have to load at a certain point so and now it'll load up and it might take a couple minutes so yeah also if this video helped you at all I'd be glad to hear about it in the comments and yeah and I believe it works see we have about 7104 
not put in right or that should say something like that um, but yeah that's about it so like I said if you like the video comment maybe sub but not always necessary but anyway thanks for watching